this outer covering structure of fats called as a mycoic acid or a fatty acid. What is the peptidoglycan? It is a protein, fat or sugar. Protein. Peptidoglycan is made up of sugars. Okay? Do not forget. Lipopolysaccharide is made up of proteins. Mycoic acid made up of fats. So this microbe has a fatty acid here. And if you do the gram stand for fatty acid, it will not accept any kind of stand. It needs another special stand. It is called it is called as Zard stand. It's called as what is a Zard? Zard is a zeal, is the name of person and zeal Nelson. Two persons will find this bacteria first time and they prepare a Another kind of cetan, neo gentle cetan, it contains the first step in this staining. It is an acid. Mm -hmm. You need the acid to interact with the fat, then you will find it. It also looks like the pink, later on, because saccharin is also present here. And this type of cetan is called acid fast cetan. Why it is called acid fast cetan? Because in Ramstein crystal violet, but here, we use the acid. We use that. We use that acid. This is the reason it's called acid fast staining to find it. And this is the reason this bacteria takes one week to grow. Why? Because it's outer covering made of fats. Fats to get a lot of time to form structure. Okay? Slow so growing bacteria. Fine, this is grub stain clear, acid fast stain clear. One more is called fluorescent stain. Fluorescent stain. This is the stain if micro if bacteria is present. You add the cetane, you add that, but with having the fluorescein, fluorescein is a dye, but when we see this under the microscope, it reflects the light, it reflects the light, it reflects the, it's called the fluorescein iso, isothiocyanate, or you can say or I mean road I mean cetane for fluorescent stain. Why it is called fluorescent? When we use this dye, simple, you have to use. And you put the uh, bacteria under the microscope and see it, it reflects the light. It looks like green. It looks like green. And one stain is called the negative stain. One stain is called as? Negative stain. Oh, I'm sorry. Remember, gram positive and gram negative. Cetaphylococcus is? Gram positive. E. coli is? Gram negative. Examples. Do not forget to get examples. Acid fast stain. Microbacterium tuberculosis, Neil Jensen stain. And similarly, fluorescent stain you can use for the tubercillic bacilli or microbacterium tuberculosis. Negative stain. Negative stain is very simple. Negative stain is the stain is it's called an Indian ink. It's called as what's the charge on the bacterial surface? Capsule. What is charge? Charge on the outer surface of Capsule. the bacteria. Charge, what is the charge? Charge. Why is your negative? Uh. Negative. On the outer surface of the bacteria of gram negative bacteria, there is charge on its surface negative, okay? Yes? Negative. When you add when you add the Indian ink citan, when you add Indian ink citan, no. Indian ink citan is also negative in charge, okay? When two negative will come together, what will happen? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so, when two women, when two women come together, they become a man, huh? and when two men come together, they become women. Huh? You know that? No. When negative charges come together, what will happen? They will move away. They will move away. And in this case, in this, this is a bacteria. And there will be like this covering. As there will be presence of a huge space. A white space you can see under the microscope. And we use this for at that time to see the whether capsule is present or not. Because the outer surface of a capsule is a negative charge. You add the dye. Dye is also negative charge. When two negatives approach together, they try to go apart. And it makes a distance. From there you can see whether the bacteria is having a capsule or not. One more is called a dark field microscopy for syphilis disease caused by triple hemophilia. You need just dark microscope. Simple. You put the microbe on the slide, you can check it on it, you will find it very clear. 
under the darkness, you, it looks like white in color. Now, these are the examples. The, my purpose is to telling you to remember the things, okay? In a street of taking things randomly. You see gram strand? Gram positive? Gram positive is purple. Gram negative is pink. Because of city, and I told you the steps. Similarly, second, microbacterium tuberculosis. It is a neal uh, zeta stain, acid positive stain. The bacteria look like the rods. There, you see? And here, capsule. Do you see the here? Distance? Yeah. Here? Because of the negative charge. In the capsule stain. Fine? And this last one is dark field microscopy. The bacteria is looking like white thread. This is triponema clearly. Okay? Microscope is clear? So, how the first thing come in this one? What is the stain used in this picture? Or what? For example, identify this picture. What you will see? Okay. Identify mark A. Identify mark B. Give an example. Okay. Happy? Next. For example, here, what is this? Identify this slide. I said negative stain. So identify the give one example. You can give one example and you can see the negative stain. Fine? Yes. Yes. Now this is we can take in the serology also, but we can take it right from here. Okay, we will talk about this in the serology section, okay? Because it will confuse you right now. Okay, now it's clear. In the micro, once you take a sample, it was sent to the laboratory using the transport media. In the laboratory, when you culture the micro, then you do the microscopy, either gram stain, either capsular stain, either acid phosphate stain, or or dark, uh, dark microscope. It depends upon the dog, for example, if it is simple E. coli, definitely it will be gram stain. Now you have a sample of a patient from his coughing, so you are suspecting he is in a tuberculosis. You will not do the gram stain. You will do neogen acid phosphate stain. Okay? Now second process, second system, one more method for a microorganism is called culture. It's called in the culture what you need. First you need inoculation. Inoculation, okay? First system. What is the inoculation? This is the culture plate. This is the this is called a loop. Okay? You put up you pick up a colony of a uh, sample or for example you have a blood sample or any other another kind of or a urine sample, blood sample. You put it like this. This is called inoculation. This is called. Inoculation. For example, this is here. I have. I am having here the sample of urine. For example, I will take uh, the loop and insert, and we do like this. You, I will find some of the urine here. I will put here like this. This is called inoculation. This is called. And I will just put it here. Super. This is called inoculation. And then I will do incubation. What is incubation? <coughs> the microbes grow incubation means you have to grow the microbe in this incubator. Usually the temperature is between 32 and 35. Okay? You come here. This is called incubation. Then what's the name incubation? Then you do the isolation. Can you do that? Isolation. Then final system, you do the identification. You do that? You know what is isolation? Yes. When you Separated. first you inoculation here, mm -hmm. then you do the incubation. You did the incubation, fine. After 24 hours, as your friend asked you earlier, how, how much time? After 24 hours, after 12 hours, it depends upon the micro, maybe after five days, then you put it out. Then you see what is present here. This is called the, then you see the bacteria grown, it is called isolation. Mm -hmm. Then what you need, you need identification. Identification either you do by stains or you can do by uh, other ways. Other ways. Proper culture media, you 
proper culture media, either McConkey, either nutrient agar, either, either uh, blood agar, okay? Then you inoculate, as I told you, inoculation. Then you incubate, then for the identification. But isolation is also here, okay? Now the question is, which type of media is used? Which type, sorry, which type of media can be used? It again depends upon the microorganism. It again depends upon the microorganism. For example, you are suspecting the patient of urinary tract infection. Then you can do simply McConkey agar in the laboratory. And it's the job of the microbiology laboratory personnel there when you doctor just repairs culture. When you see it is a urine culture, for example, he will do a <coughs> McConkey agar culture. For example, it's the TB sample, he will not do McConkey agar, he will do another type of culture. Culture media required for the TB. Then when you have the microbial culture growth there, then you can use for various types of identification. One type of media is blood agar. What is the purpose of a blood agar? Correct. Very in a short line. The purpose of blood agar use it in the identification of microorganism, whether the bacteria is lysing the hemo breaking down the RBCs or not. Very simple. What you see in this picture? I have written A B C. I have written A B C. This is a blood agar, blood agar, okay? This is A, I have marked it as A, I have marked it as B, I have marked it as C. A is called as beta hemolysis. Beta hemolysis means those bacteria who completely lies the break down the RBC cells. Completely break down the RBC cells are called as beta hemolysis. Complete hemolysis. Example is biogenesis. This bacteria completely, completely break down the RBC. It's called the, it causes a lysis of the RBC. And second, B, there is lysis of RBC, but not complete. But not partial RBC. Remember, when we talk about the partial hemolysis, when we talk about it is usually green in color. Can anybody say why? This is an RBC, okay? If you put the RBC blood culture media in certain papapapitis, it will be completely destroyed. It will be completely destroyed. But in case of a partial, partial hemolysis, only some part of its membrane is broken, broken down. Partial. And why it look like green? At that time, the iron reacts with the atmospheric oxygen. It reacts with the oxygen. It is called methmyoglobin. Meth Myoglobin and due to this mess myoglobin, it gives its green color. It gives it its green color. In partial hemolysis, only partial breakdown of RBC, it looks like a green. But here it is not clear. But if you see, it looks like yellowish color, it is slightly greenish. It is beta uh, alpha hemolysis, it's called partial hemolysis. And C, there is no hemolysis at all. Example, enterococcus, here is citrococcus pneumonia. Understand? You see the role of a media. What's important here to understand the role of a media? Same blood agar. Same blood agar, same culture period, but you differentiate three ki kinds of microorganisms. You identify three different kinds of bacteria. You did citrococcus pyogen, citrococcus pneumonia, and enterococcus. Citrococcus Biogenes and citrococcus pneumonia, they come in the same family, but different property. One causes complete hemolysis, another can cause partial hemolysis. Understand this concept? Though main purpose of identifying this slide, we will say blood agar. What is the purpose of a blood agar? To see which microbe causes the hemolysis. These are the examples. Fine? Can we write just a... Uh, the uh, uh, cyclotes or we need to... You can write, yes. 
If somebody write E full stop picandis, it's understood it is anthropopus picandis. Fine. But can we pull out? It's known. It's, it's, uh, it is not an E. coli. It's no, no. Uh, like, like E. coli. E. dot yes. Mm -hmm. What is the full name of E. coli? E. So, blood agar is understood? You see here the blood agar? In this blood agar culture plate, it's only Cetus aureus. Complete destruction, beta hemolysis. You see here, alpha hemolysis, greenish in color? Partial. Because it reacts with the atmospheric oxygen, methamyoglobin is formed, it gives its green color. Partial hemolysis. Understood this very well about this. Another type of media, it is called as a nutrient agar. It is called as? For example, if you grow the pseudomonogen, it will give green color. Why it will give green color? Lactose. <laughs> Whenever you talk about the pseudomonas, the property of the pseudomonas, the essential feature of the pseudomonas, it releases the pigment. It releases the green in color. So whenever you see the culture plate green in color, first suspect, suspect is the pseudomonas. Pseudomonas, it is a green in color on neutral agar because of pigment. Because of? Fine? Just to verify this picture, uh, this is a neutral agar, an example, and... Uh, Fine. Uh, Identify this microbe, you will see pseudomonas. Why it is a greenish in color? Because the pigment... Uh, secreted by the bacteria, microorganisms. You see here something, growth. This is a blood agar, okay? This is a blood agar, but the growth is like this. One circle is here, then is another circle, then is another circle, then is another circle. You see circles, whitish in color. This is called a swarm. This is called a Proteus is a microorganism, Proteus. Proteus is a microorganism, it swarms, it forms the swarm cells. Uh, upon its division, it forms two types of cells. One is called a swarm cell. And to swarm the bacteria, you know, spreads on the curve. Usually, the bacteria, bacteria does not move in the culture plane. When it is inoculated, same it will show the growth. But this microbe, it moves from its position, from one position to another, to the presence of swarm cell. What's the feature of Macon Not lactose fermenting? Lactose, lactose fermenting. It differentiates between lactose fermenter and non lactose fermenter. So it is a differential media, correct. And what another feature? Non lactose. What's it? It inhibits the gram positive bacteria. So it makes it makes the Meconki selective media. Mm -hmm. It is selective media. Two important properties of Meconki. It is selective and differential. Differential means it differentiates between lactose fermenter and non-lactose fermenter. And it inhibits the growth of gram positive. Why it inhibits the growth of gram positive bacteria? Why it stops gram positive bacteria? Why it kills gram positive bacteria? Because it has antibodies. Has? Antibiotics. Why is it antibiotic? Okay, remember, the Meconki agar, it is a property. It is differential as well as selective. It differentiates between the lactose fermenter and non-lactose fermenter. And it is selective. It inhibits the gram positive bacteria. Because in the Meconki agar, there is presence of bile salt. There is presence of bile salt. And bile salt did not allow the gram positive to grow. Okay? This makes it selective media because of wild salts. You see here, protease is a gram negative, E. coli is a gram negative, calypsula is a gram negative. 
but E. coli and Calypsula is a gram, uh, sorry, E. coli and Calypsula is lactose fermented, Proteus is non lactose fermented. Now tell me why there is pink color? Release of bacteria. Mm. There is no poison in it. Because there is no poison. It is a lactose fermenter. Tell me why it is pink in color. Because it is no poison. It is a lactose fermenter. Tell me why it is pink in color. Pigmentation. No pigmentation. Because lactose ferment. Chestnut. أكتس فرمان حاجة اسمه ده وش؟ ويطلع فينك سيو؟ Yes tell me why is pink in color؟ والله ما في ناس. The property of a lactose fermented bacteria when bacteria utilizes the lactose, it ferments the lactose, it produces acid. It produces acid. When in the media acid is produced, because it's the media culture plate, when acid is produced by the bacteria, after the utilizing of the lactose, it causes decrease in the pH. It causes <coughs> decrease in the pH. And in this media, Lacomachi media, there is indicator, there is an dye indicator. This indicator changes its color when there is higher concentration of acid. Okay? Its color changes into the pink. So, lactose fermenters are pink in color because when the bacteria ferment the lactose, it produces the acid. When acid is produced, the pH of the media gets decreased. When pH of the media gets decreased because of the more acid, it reacts with the dye, it reacts with the dye present in the media and it changes its color into the pink. It is, there is no pigment. Clear? Understand? So this is the property of the McConkey and very important media in the microbiology. microbiology. Fine? Okay? All these three positive is E. coli and Calypsula, lactose fermented, so case is non lactose Fine? Examples are given. I am not reading for here, it's just my purpose is to make you understand you will go at home. When you reach home, just have a look on the slides one by one, read it, and you will find these things, what I am telling you. Okay? This is one more important thing. It's called mannitol salt agar. It's called? Mannitol salt. You see on the mannitol, the property of first, what is the mannitol salt agar? Mannitol salt agar. Two important things in this agar, very, very two important things. First, it contains sugar, mannitol. It contains sugar. Second, it contains salt. It contains about 10 percent or 10 percent. Agar is agar. Agar is a what is agar? What is agar? Solidifying agent. Agar is a solidifying. Mekonki agar, nutrient agar, mannitol salt agar, 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 agar. Agar is only solidifying agent and no other role. Okay? You see in the mannitol salt agar, I have written two points. It contains sugar, mannitol and salt. Usually it has been seen the growth of the bacteria, it cannot grow in the salt of above 5%. Maximum is 5%. After that bacteria usually not. Sometimes only 4%. Salt then. If you increase the salt tension bacteria, all, it will die. But some microbes, like Staphylococcus, like Staphylococcus, it grows on the higher salt concentration. This media, mannitol salt agar, it is used to differentiate between Staphylococcus aureus citrinus. Staphylococcus aureus citrinus, it ferments the mannitol. It ferments? It ferments. Why it is yellow in color? Because it's yellow. Because it's yellow. Because it's yellow. It's correct. It breaks down mannitol and pH is decreased to low pH. More acid is formed and it gives yellow. It gives mannitol. So you see here, you see both bacteria are grown. But only this is uh, mannitol fermented, this is not. 
you see the color of the media is same but here it is changed this means the microbe has yes. utilized the mannitol and produced 